This is my favorite type of puzzles. I love these types of puzzles with weighing. So, but we have to do something. And, and have you tried multiple scales, Annika? Yeah. No, okay. I've only done one scales, but I've tried many gold bars. Okay, so that's what we're going to do then. We're going to try multiple scales. So I'm going to go over here and we're going to have two scales for today. There we go. So that uh, you haven't done this before. Okay. I hope you're not Can I try this? Okay. So, Annika, Annika why, why don't you explain this puzzle to other people? And as you're explaining, you can be trying to solve this one. Um, how many weighings do you think you're going to need with two scales to find which bar of which of these six is heavier? So you can start explaining as you're solving the puzzle. I think I'll put in this puzzle, you need to find the true gold bar just by measuring the weight of each gold bar. And it doesn't have to be the one with the highest number, like six. It can okay. be any gold bar at all. And with multiple scales, I think that it really just depends on the number of bars there is because if there's eight, then you could fit four, two on each side and okay so so let's let's solve it now annika so um we've got nine bars here i want you to try to figure out um which which one of these is heavier and i will give you two weighings go ahead how, how many do you want to put in here and then people will understand how to solve it so i'll put one? these two in the first one okay you just click on them and you add them like this that's how you do it. And I'm going to share with you guys the, the app uh, later on. OK, uh, next, what do you want to put in here? So these two are going to be compared to these two. And they're yep. almost identical, almost identical, but not quite. Oh. So if you, of course, and if you put in three bars, then it's going to be heavier. And the false ones are the same amount, are the same yes, weight. Yes, all of the false ones are the same. What do you want to put in here, Annika? Three and four. Three and four? Uh -huh. Okay, and over here? Six and seven. Six and seven. Okay, there we go. And we're ready to weigh. Here we go. We are weighing, and let's see what happens. Um, oh, so the ones on the one and two are the same weight as eight and nine. So, so those so the, can't be it. Yeah, one of those are the gold bar. But None of can't this can't be it. This can't be it. This can't be it. So it's either oh, heavier, this. heavier. Wait, wait, wait. The gold is heavier. Yeah. Not oh, light. so it's this heavier. is it. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has to be three or four. So we're, we're going to go back now. And four, we're five, go four, five. So four five. So I'm going to empty all of these. Three, four. Oh, yeah, we also had five. Okay, so how are we going to do this now? I don't think it's. Now we can put two in one. Three here, yeah. Three in the other. Yeah. And first, I want to see how this these two weigh. Uh, you you don't get that choice. You just get to do the weighing oh. all at the same time. Then this. Because that's all I, and I have to do one more, so eight. And eight here? Yeah. Like this? Yeah. And what do you want me to do with nine? Oh, put it, eight, eight, nine as well. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And let's weigh them and see. Okay. Ooh. So it's four or five that's heavy so what's the right answer which one is heavy which one is the has got the gold oscar go ahead i think it's four because as on the previous way ancient we tried everything except five if it was five then and all of the scales would balance 
Right. Because that means the gold bar it isn't on any of them. Right. So that's, that's exactly so right. So it's got to be number four. Right. So we're going to go back now. We're going to go for the gold. We're going to see if Oscar's right. We hit the four and we say choose and you find the gold bar. bar. Congratulations. Yay. So that wasn't too hard. I want to know what are the most bars that we can figure out with uh, just two weighings. So nine, nine, uh, I think we can, we, we could do that. Let's play it again, but we can increase the number of bars. How far do you want to do it so that you oh. can figure out which one is the gold bar? I feel like the highest number is 12 because that's how far we got to. Rest okay, again. there we go, 12. Um, uh, let's, let's go, um, Angie, which, uh, which numbers would you like to put in this first place? So we're going to be balancing this blue one here with this red one here. So, um, and uh, Yeah, so we're, we're looking for a gold bar. So one of these numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, one of those has got a secret gold bar. And it's a little bit heavier than the other ones, just a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to weigh a whole bunch in uh, this blue one here. We're going to weigh a whole bunch in this red one. And we're going to keep on doing that. Um, and weigh here and here. And we're going to compare these two. We're going to compare these two and see which one's heavier. So that's, okay. that's yeah. So which ones do you want to test here? 11 and 1. 11 and 1 in here. Okay, and in here. Um, then two. Two and which one? 12. Two and 12, okay, there we go. Um, Solly, what would you like for here? Um, three and four. Three and four. Okay, and over here. Go ahead, Solly. Um, five and six, five. and seven, eight, nine, ten can go in blue, red, blue, red. Um, so seven, eight, nine, ten, we can wait. <coughs> wait until next wing, and here we go, and let's see what happens. Okay, we clearly have a um, a winner here. It's the three and four. Okay, so hello, Skana. I I should have told you, Skana, that we're we're going to do this activity. Um, I ended up at a barbecue in somebody in somebody's home, and so I had to spontaneously choose an activity, and so I chose a Julia Robinson Math Festival activity. Uh, here we go. So let's go back. So we know that it's three or four. And of course, now that now we can for sure, one more. I, I just did this one, Gord, but thanks. I just came from math again. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So you yeah, guys no, have I'm, fun. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure you you yeah. should be off. Yeah, take care. Bye bye. Okay. Um, here we go. So we know three. It has to be three or four. And uh, Super Kitty Cat, go ahead. Okay. Uh... Okay, let's try. Okay, was it three and four that had the more weight, or what was it? No, it's three or four. The gold bar uh, is three or four. It was the let's heavy. Let's try three and one. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have put one. I can take it up but, back. But, but if, one if is it, the one I want. Okay, by chance, I've done it. Uh. Four and seven. Four and seven. Okay. And eleven and eight. Eleven and eight. And go and ahead. And two and nine. Two and nine. Because if we do it like that, we can see whether it's three or four. Yeah, we know that this one's going to be balanced. What? How is that possible? What? 
That's not possible. Yeah, it isn't. There has to be some gold here. That's weird. It How doesn't is... look like you weighed five and six. What? But well, it has to be. Two more than one. Okay. Two more than one gold thing. Did we make a mistake? Maybe there is more than one gold. Let's see in here. Um, number of scales, oh. number of bars. Um, it looks all it looks just uh, totally normal. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to release this for you guys so that you can experiment with it. Um, and let's just see my chat. There's chat. And here we go. It's, it's so cool being co-host because then I can help you out by letting people in. Yeah, and you can start the poll. Oh, yeah, I can. Uh, That's uh, in three minutes, though. Uh, go ahead, Annika. Oh, wait, I wanted to. I have a tab opened, and I just solved mm -hmm. a puzzle with 20 in it. Can I do the... Wait, I just solved wait, this wait, with 20. Wait, guys. Guys, <laughs> Guys, you weren't supposed to this puzzle with twenty. Guys, not guys. yet, not yet. I, I was gonna. Uh, oh, guys. you know the funny thing. What? Whenever you guys are co-hosts, you can't vote in the poll. <laughs> yeah, and I was just waiting. Oh, we're gonna for... have a big one person voting here. Guys. I... Yeah. No four Stop. people. Stop. Stop. Four people. Guys. Four people. Where the lower class must vote. Why do people keep on putting on the poll? Let's wait in like t for like two minutes. Well, I think it's not going to be a very exciting poll since only one person is voting because you are all co-hosts, basically. I think there's there's not just all a few you. people who come in a little bit later. Okay, so let's kill off this and um, yeah, number of bars and. The answer was five. The answer was five? Yeah, when I did it with 20, the answer was five. Oh, you needed five weighings to figure it out. Is that right? No, the answer was five. The gold bar number was five. Okay, okay. So let's get rid of that poll, guys. That's, uh, yeah, please. That away. Let's stop. No, then no one please put it back up. Yeah, let's kill that bowl, guys. Guys, do again. why do why are people muting me? I'm not. Okay, we're gonna stop sharing. <laughs> okay, okay. So I am gonna stop you guys from being the co-hosts. Everybody, I am, um... or I'll just try to push it off the side. Okay, there we go. Well, that taught that taught me that we that too many co-hosts can spoil a broth. <laughs> okay, um, so the question is not can you get lucky and and find out which of these gold bars is the heaviest. The question is can you find the maximum number so that you always can figure out always every single time that you can figure out which one is the gold bar in two that weighings is, yeah in two weighings yeah with two scales and two well two weighings okay so um for example uh, so do people do people think the last time what we did doesn't really matter which numbers we choose you choose two numbers for here we chose two numbers for here. We choose, chose two numbers for here, and we chose two numbers for here. You can see it doesn't really matter which two numbers you choose, right? It doesn't matter. So there's four left over. I'm going to weigh these. And let's see what happens. So it has to be three or four. So that it's got to be three or four. So let me try this. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of this. Um, Gord, yeah. we're going to go to our slide and just if anybody wants to join us, then yeah. Okay.
and we're going to try weighing that. And okay, so it's it's number three. That's the heavy one. Okay, so that's that's your question for today. Is what are the most that you can most uh, of these bars that you can weigh, so you know for sure that you can find the gold bar with two scales and two weighings. And I'm going to go for the gold, and I'm going to choose bar three, and I'm going to choose it, and I find the gold bar. Okay, so I'm I'm going to now. Uh, get you guys to suggest something. If you want to stay with me, you, you can also take off and explore this by yourself. What are your preferences? Um, it's a tin can. Do you think you could be more than 12? Is, are you happy with 12? What's your strategy? That kind of question. Um, Emerson, mm -hmm. go ahead. Talk, talk to me about um, if you think you can get, if you can figure out with more than 12 bars for sure, every single time you can figure out which one is the gold bar. Well, it looks like here it's three, but. With three ways? Uh, it'll be different four? every time. So this time we don't know which one it is. I want to know, can you do it with 14 or 15? With three weighings and two scales, you can do 30. Okay. You can get lucky. I'm not asking you to get lucky. What I'm asking you is every single time. No, every you, single time. You, you, for every single time. So for 30 with three scales. So let's see your technique. I want to understand your technique. No, 30 with two scales. But three weighings. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, two weighings and uh, three weighings. Okay. So, so tell we me put, your first weighing. So we put eight in both blue and red. Um, so the first eight one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in blue and eight in red. And you're going to compare those two. No, not yet. No nope. scales, remember? Oh yeah, you've got two scales. Okay. So, so we put six, six. Wait, I believe it's six. six. No, maybe seven. Okay, there's six. Do you want just six or do you want more? Um, go and go for the blue. It might be right. It might be wrong. Okay, and another six. Add a new. Add another one. Yeah. No, just add another. Wait, no. Add another one to the blue. Okay. No. Add 29 to the blue and yeah, 30 to the red. Okay. Now we weigh that. So um, let's just see what would happen here. What's uh, um, the worst case scenario? The very worst thing that could happen is, um, is it one of the eights is heavy or one of the sevens is heavy? So you, you have the choice of either this one's heavy or this one or this one or this one. So oh. weigh that. Okay, you want me to weigh it? There we go. Okay, so you've got numbers one through eight. Okay, so one through eight, wait, go back. Yep. Empty all of them. So you know one through eight is, is the empty one. Now I want to I want to think of uh, I want you other people who are listening to Solly. I want you to be asking: Is this a good way to understand this problem? What we're okay. doing, the process that we're doing. I today. I have a suggestion. Since okay. you know it's one through eight, you can. Okay. Yeah. So Oscar, I'm going to come to your suggestion in a second, but I want everybody to think um, about how we're going how we're going about to try to understand what's going on here, Solly. Um, let's go with you, and then let's go with Oscar's specific idea about solving for 30. Um, go ahead, Sully. Uh, one and two in blue. Okay. Three and four in red. Right. Five and six in 
Yeah. Right. And I agree. This this will certainly this could actually solve even more than 30. This could solve 32, four times eight. Right? Because uh, now you, you're going to measure which one of these? Way. Way. And, and that's what the third measuring is. Now we know it's uh, five or six. And then you just do the third measure. So I totally agree that this works. Um, Oscar, were, did you have a different idea about uh, this? I was just going to say that at when you know, oh, a gold bar can't be the real one. You can use the X tool or to mark it. Oh, okay. At and the bottom. The tool is this one here. So you see. You and can... it does work even if it's a seven that's. Uh... Sure, of course it can work if it's if it's less than uh, the eight. The the eight was a really hard one. I'm gonna head so, out. It's but if I you get to... a seven, if you get a seven, and then and if you're really lucky, you might narrow it down to one bar and two. Buttons. No, it, even if it's seven, you can always tell. However, I don't think that this is a good way for you guys to be solving the problem. I think this is way too complex. You guys are trying to solve a problem for like um, from one to 12 with two weighings um, and two scales. Now, I, we're going to keep the number of scales. But automatically, whenever um, you get asked to understand what's going on in a math problem, do not go to 30. Don't go to 12. Try to think of the simplest the simplest version of the problem so that you can understand what's going on before you tackle something like this. You guys have no idea how high you can get with three weighings. You're, you have no idea right now. Much, much better, rather than jumping to three weighings, go back and figure out how many can you get with one weighing? Even if I asked you how many can you get with two weighings, your first task should be, you know what? Even though Gord asked me to do it with two weighings, I need to understand what's going on. I need a simpler problem. I'm not going to do what Gord said. Instead, I'm going to try to figure out how many can I figure out with just one weighing? Okay, what's the maximum number I can figure out with just one weighing? So that's what we're going to do now. I want to know, um, and maybe you guys want to take uh, 16 seconds to guess how many could I possibly figure out with just one way? Just uh, let's go with 17 and a half seconds of silence. And then I'm gonna take a vote. I want to have the most bars that you can figure out, which bar is the, you, you know that one of them is a gold bar. What's the most bars that you can um, figure out, okay? So with just one way, 15 and a half seconds. Okay, everybody who thinks that you can figure out with these two, uh, you can erase that now, everyone. And let's uh, I'll just go back to much, much less. Everyone who thinks that they can figure out in just one weighing 10, 10 bars, uh, hands up. You can figure out which one's the gold one in 10 bars. And Annika, just one weighing, just one weighing. Can you figure out which one with just one weighing, yeah. Annika? Yeah. Every time? Or are you, yeah. you're talking about getting lucky? I know. I know because I've done it quite a few times a few days ago. Okay, I, I want to see how you do it. So go ahead. You've got one weighing. Go ahead. Okay. First, I would pair these two up. Okay, one and two go into here. Yep. Then I'd pair these two up. Nine and ten go into here. But that still makes guesses because you really don't know what's the next one. The, the, the problem is, Annika, even if you find out, OK, 
Okay, there you go. Let's see which one it is. And you know it's nine or 10. But now you're just guessing, Annika. You don't know if it is at nine or 10. So with one weighing, with one weighing you cannot figure out 10 using this technique at least. Okay? Okay. Okay, so um, anyone figure think that you can figure out nine? Nine? Eight? Eight, Oscar, you think eight? With just one way? I was going to say, but I, I know how to calculate eight with a maximum amount of gold bars for any amount of weight. Eight in, 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 with any amount of scales. Okay, T tell me uh, how, how many? Uh, let's do it just this one. How many do you think you can get? Just, with this one? just four. Four. Because okay. As you'll need to have just one on each scale. Okay. Because if you have more, then if it gives you that, you won't you have to guess. Right. So this is this is Oscar's solution, and he thinks that um, four is the number. Um, can we have a thumbs up from everybody that uh, this is that this is a good solution? Angie, is that a thumbs up? Uh, we have Annika, thumbs up. We have um, Taco Cat, uh, um, Seth. Oh, they're they're off. Okay, everyone. Solly, thumbs up. Annika is a Annika is an if. If it has. Okay, and um, Super Kitty Cat. Thumbs up. You agree with uh, four is the maximum number that you can figure out. Mm. Thumbs up. Or I don't know. You don't know. It has yes. to be. Okay, Annika, just say it. Because <laughs> it's your writing, your pink writing. It has writing. to be one of them because there's four, there's four of the things. So you know at once which one it's going to be. In this one, it seems like it's going to be three. For sure. Um, nevertheless- so This is the maximum you can do with one way in. Maximum you can do. Everyone agrees, right? I need to see a thumbs up from everybody. Thumbs up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, or thumbs down. And I'm gonna go, <laughs> you are all wrong. Okay, figure out what the heck is wrong. You're all wrong. Okay, what are you not seeing here? So gold for go for gold, and yes, it is a number three here. Yes, we've been successful. Why was that not a, not the solution? So Oscar's Oscar's idea it sounds really obvious, right? You need to weigh each one. You put one on each scale. You can't put two on each scale because then you don't know. You can't tell. But what's wrong? There's something wrong there, guys. I've also got an equation, and that that will also all the amount of uh, of the maximum amount of gold bars with any amount of scales and any maximum amount of weighings. I put it in the chat. Okay, let's uh, let's go to the chat. Um, scales. Oh, two to the S. Wow. So that that is uh, that is um, really good. Um, and uh, nevertheless, I'm telling you that that you're you're not right for the. Um, for the this particular example. So I'm saying that four is not the correct answer, Oscar. So factor that in. What, what, what are you missing? You've got a great, I mean, that's a very, very sharp formula that you've got, Oscar. That's great. But something's well, wrong. Well, it seems like it's got to be four because like it, can't, it can still land on, it can, Land on two if it's got 
fine. Um, Tin Can, can you come up with, um, try, try, I want you to try to solve something Tin Can. I'm gonna add a fifth one here. Tin Can, I want you to tell me which of these is gold. I am only giving you one way. Go Tin Can. What do you, what do you want me to put in this first one? Tin can. Okay, uh, Angie. Go ahead. Um, can you know. solve this? Can you solve for six? Okay. I don't think so. Well, yeah, yeah, you okay. can. Okay, go ahead. Try. What do you want me to put in the, this first one? Um, one and two. Okay. And in the second. I changed that. Three. Yeah. So you can see that this won't work because even if you, like, even if you, uh, even if you find out that three and four is, is heavier, that you still have a problem here, right, Angie? You don't, you only have one I way. Three. I would put, I was going to put three in red and then four in blue. That's what I was go oh, going to do. Oh, in red and four in blue. Okay. Okay. So it's like this. Oh, I don't want to do that. And is that good? Uh huh. And what do you want to put in the last one? Two. Two. Okay. There. And now we're going to weigh. And what possibilities could happen whenever I weigh here? Tell me all of the possibilities that could happen. I don't know. None of them could be it. Yeah, so if, if uh, one is... So I just threw uh, it out, then you could solve every single one. Okay, so if, if one is heavy... I'm pretty sure I know how to solve every single one. Yeah. Angie, if one is heavy, what's going to happen? And one is going to be it, though. So yeah, it's not going to get heavy. heavy. If one is more heavy, then five would be it. Oh, how can we tell if five is is going to be the gold bar? What would happen if five is the gold bar right now? Then it's going to be heavy, except for five. Yeah, all the scales are going to be flat. So, in this case, let's see what happens. In this case. Four is heavy. But for example, if we didn't have four, if we put five in here, then whenever we weigh it, then everything is flat. Mm -hmm. So we actually can, can uh, get a little bit better than, than, the, than the four that Oscar was suggesting. Just a little bit. Okay. Oscar, what, what, what are you thinking? Uh, I made a, an equation, but I think will now work, but it's a lot more complicated. Okay, okay. But so, just a few symbols. Okay. Let's uh, see. Sh share, it, share it on here. And then, you know what? Um, Seth and uh, Taco Cat, are you, are you still listening? in on this uh, or are you off doing other puzzles? I, I'm listening. Okay. I'm, I'm doing, I'm off doing other puzzles, but I just heard you ask if I was listening or not. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I can't so I, I I'm doing that. another puzzle because I know that. Okay, you, you know this one intimately? Okay, got it, got it, got it. I know this one, but I forgot the answer. So I'm just playing around with it. Okay. Um, so I, I, I won't do, I won't do, I didn't know that you guys were familiar with Julia Robinson Math Festival um, puzzles. So I, I won't do, I won't do these uh, again. No, I, I've seen something like this puzzle before. Okay. No, I like I've, these. I, I only know about this site from Math Pickle, so. Um, but I, I don't have this on Math Pickle. This is Julia Robinson Math Festival. No, you, you don't, but um, I, I found out about this website from your uh, oh, mathpickle.com. Oh, oh, oh. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So I tried it like a month ago. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, they, they've got uh, really nice puzzles. So um, nevertheless, I, I will try to uh, produce new fresh ones that you haven't seen before. Um, but th this is a real classic. This wasn't invented by the Julia Robinson Math Festival. This yeah, is a real classic uh, puzzle. Yeah, I've seen this one before, but I forgot the answer. Yeah. Fine, yeah. Um, what's much tougher is if there are uh, more than one gold bar. Uh, that is a much, much tougher puzzle for you guys to, to figure out. And, uh, and so you can enjoy trying to solve that. But Oscar, um, you might want to uh, um, um, take off and, and work with uh, Seth and Taco Cat on, um, I, I don't know if you guys, Seth and Taco Cat, if you guys have found a formula for that, but uh, Oscar's got a great looking formula that- We're just going off on our own. One. Taco Cat's doing a uh, river crossing and then I'm doing um, this one. Okay. I'm working on this one too sometimes. Um, I'll invite Oscar. I to put work. my formula in the chat. Awesome. So um, this is a class uh, that goes up to um, age nine kids, Oscar. So uh, your, your formula is um, fantastic. But I, I, I'm not going to talk about it uh, in here because it's it's clearly at a at a it's a really really awesome formula that I'll I'll need to talk with you about afterwards. Um, so that that's fantastic, Oscar. Uh, okay, so um, Oscar, I will get back to you in ten minutes, and the rest of you, uh, let's uh, let's uh, see. So. Um, do you have a formula, everybody else, or forget the formula? Um, do you have a feel for, uh, do you believe me that, that you can solve this for five gold bars always? I don't get what you mean by that. Okay, so if I put, uh, we're going to play this again. Go for gold, I think it was a four. Choose. Okay. Play again. So now we don't know which one it is, Annika. Um, can you f tell me which one it is with just a single weighing? Can you tell me? I'm going to put the one in here. I'm going to put the two in here. I'm going to put the three in here. And I'm going to put the four in here. Oops. Three in here and four in here. I am not going to weigh it. Annika, I want you to imagine what's going to be the result of this weighing. I'm not going to do it right now. I want you to imagine all of the possibilities. If one is the gold bar, what is going to happen? If two is the gold bar, what is going to happen? If three or four are the gold bars, what is going to happen? Okay, if five is the gold bar, what is going to happen? Are those all going to give you information that will allow you to say, ah, I know which one's the gold bar? Well, we can, we can try it. Here is this one. So, Annika, which one is the gold bar? One is the gold bar because one is lower. Sure. But you could imagine that any result that happened, you could tell me which one is the gold bar, correct? Yes. Any result. So, this is uh, totally, totally fine. Um, you can do this up to five. So, if I was to... Um, increase the, uh, okay, first of all, could you do it for six? Is there any way to organize these so that it works for six? So I could do this. Is this gonna work? Well, of course that's not going to work because there's two left. That's right, of course not. Okay, um, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm now going to go up to three scales. And I want you to tell me how many, everyone, so uh, everyone who's still with me, I want you to think um, what possibly could be the maximum number that I could weigh with three of these, with just a single weighing I, with three scales. I think that 
that would be seven because one would go in one, two would go in one, three would go in one, four would go in one, five would go in one, six would go in one, and, and seven would be out. But if they're all at the same length, you know that seven's the gold bar. And if one's dead, you know that that one's the gold bar. Right. But if, there's, but if there's eight, you can't really tell if it's all even because eight or seven can be the gold bar. Right. Okay, here we go. And in this situation, that was extremely lucky. They're all, they're, there's none of them that are heavier. So what's the answer? Seven. Seven. It's the only one that's not there. So we, even with just one weighing, we can, we know that this is the answer. And you find the gold bar. Congratulations. Good. Okay. Um, that is time for this puzzle time. Um, Oscar, I'm, I'd love to talk to you now. And if you guys want to um, take off, I will see you again tomorrow. Bye. Bye. A fresh puzzle, uh, one that is my own creation. Okay, take Wait, care. there's going to be a puzzle. What about the oh, one from last Thursday that you were going to revisit? Remember with the factors? Oh, that's, right. that's right. I was going to create a new circles. universe, right? I was going to make a new mini mathematical universe for tomorrow, right? I, and I was going to, I was going to finish off, I was going to finish off last week's, and I was going to make a new mini mathematical universe, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's coming up tomorrow. Thanks for reminding me, Oscar. I might have forgotten. Good. Okay. So I'm going to say goodbye to everyone. Um, um, Oscar, tell me about your formula. Because this is, I'm going to drag the form. See the formula whenever I drag it in. I don't think you can. So I have to copy it and I'm going to put it into here. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. The 2s to the power of W appears a lot. Right. So, um, have you noticed that? 2s to the power of W. I have 2s is the amount of, of places you can put gold bars. 2s. Right. That's the number of scales. So, twice. Okay. Got it. Yep. 2. And S. then to the power of W only means if you always win is the 2s to the power of w was my original formula yes and it's got, and it means if you always use every gold bar left after and, and, and the next way in then you get, then that's the maximum number of gold bars for the scales and the weighing. Okay. So 2s to the power of w is the base. And then this stuff, uh, after the add in the plus, is what you're supposed to add to is is like, well, you can, well, since you can leave bars out, you'll be able to solve it with more. So, so, and it's a fraction of the, of the original number. Right. Um, can I just ask about the 2s? Is it 2s all to the power of w, or is it 2 times s to the power of w? It's 2, two times s and raise all that to the power of w. 
So more like I was originally going to put that in parentheses, but and I just thought that might be too many parentheses. Okay, okay. So yeah, mathematicians would generally um, uh, put that the, all of that in parentheses. Otherwise, they are going to do the power first. Um, so uh, you're exactly right. So um, that is uh, that's definitely something that would be done like that. So that now is uh, is. It would be much easier to read if there was a different kind of ma arc for or parentheses inside parentheses. Yes, I agree. I agree. Yeah, and uh, you, you know you can you can imagine choosing different parentheses. You could imagine uh, like what I do. The mathematicians don't do this, but I do this. Is I I do it in different colors. So um, I go like. Uh, Sometimes like this and like this, just to set it off just a little bit. So this is something I do, but uh, this is not common in, uh, among mathematicians. But that's, that's kind of what I do. Yeah, well, that, that's, um, that's really, well, yeah. So the fraction, so I've explained the first part before the plus sign. Now yeah. I'll explain this second part which has two little parts before the times and after the times yeah this piece right here shows will explain how the, what the fraction that you take out of it will be and then the other part is just times the original number. I could, I think I could make it a bit shorter. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll put the sh shorter a version and then the chant. Right. This way. One plus. I think that app, it will give you the same result, but it's a bit shorter. Oh, you've got something else in chat. Got it. Okay, I'm going to chat. Did you see it? And this. Okay, so um, right. Although yeah, so I'm I not, like, yeah. although I just thought of the S, so I'm not sure if the will give exactly the same result, but they, they probably they will. So that's something in for. Are you to think about if those two equations are equal? Okay. So, so let's try this out with uh, two scales and two weighings, um, and uh, let's see what we what we to your formula. I'll start making the first.
right, I can probably do it in a nicer way. Um, so that's going to be four squared. And that's going to be four, four um, squared. So um, everywhere that it says four to the power of two, you can do 16. That's going to be 20, right? So that's your answer for, for this, correct? Yes, that's a 20. Okay. So and, and now let's the go other one. I want, to see, I want to see how this works in practice. So uh, we're going to go here, we're going to say 20. So 20 bars and two scales. Yeah. So how does uh, how does this work? So oh, one, two, three, four on the first one, five, six, seven, eight on the, the second one, nine, 10, 11, 12, and then 13, 14, 15, 16, and leave the other four or alone. Okay. Oh, that's not right. And then this here. Okay. And now we weigh it and we see which group has that's it. Okay. So let's say that it uh, it's one of these groups. You agree that from if it's you one know of the you can figure out it's one of these groups. You know that, right? Oscar, for sure, you can figure out it's going to be one of these groups. I'm either going to say that these are all balanced, in which case it's 17, 18, 19, or 20, or I'm going to tell you that it's 1, 2, 3, or 4, or 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, 10, 11, 12, or... Uh, yeah, it's going to tell us that, and then we'll have enough scales to do... Um, Oscar, to Oscar, what happens if... Uh, can't you tell me more than this? If I, if I instead went like this, and instead I broke it up like this. I guess 25 would work. One, 25 two, three. like this. Yes. Okay, so your formula is, is, uh, Excellent, but it, it undervalues what you can actually end up doing. Okay. I'll keep on working on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that if was I, great. I get anything that'll give you a 25, and I'll tell you. Okay, sounds good. But I think I'll leave soon. Since it's okay. Okay. Take care, everybody.